Welcome friends, today's video is about how to make a curved scene like Subway Surfer. Very simple, we are making this by using shader graph. So, if you are not subscribed to my channel, click on red button for subscribe and turn the bell icon on for new videos. Open YouTube and create a new project using high definition render pipeline and name as curve world and click on create button so let's get start i have already created my map which is state so i want to bend it to horizontally and vertical so i want to create a shader which bend my scene so create shader and ppr graph and name as world shader this shader editable in shader graph so now open this shader into shader graph you can install shader graph through the package manager now shader graph window open so first of all maximize it and drag pbr master to a corner so first of all create node for position and set the space drop down menu to world so now create another node for transformation matrix and set as model now create multiplier for multiplying the both well and connect with both inputs so now create another node for getting the camera position and create another node which subtract the both value and give these both inputs first to a and second connect with b so now create another node for spirit and connect this subtract output with spirit so now create another node of power and connect with b for boosting this value so now create input value vector 1 which is float and name as curve x and set the reference x axis which is using in script for changing its value so now duplicate it for curve y and name as curve y and set the reference to y axis and drag both input and connect with vector 2 so create node node and vector 2 and connect both input to vector 2 and create multiplier for multiplying the power and vector 2 values now create another node for transformation matrix but this time in inverse mode now create multiplier for multiplying the both values now create another node of position and set the drop down menu of space to object and create node for adding the both value so create node and search add and then connect with both inputs so now connect the output with pbr master vertex position now create another node of sample texture 2d for assigning the texture of material so you can assign through the hair and i want to sign into outer of the shader so create and texture 2d and connect with sample texture 2d now create another node of uv and connect with uv of sample texture 2d you can add normal map through here so now our shader ready so go and click on save asset and go back to unity editor so now select all the material of the object which you want to bend so i have this object and i'm selecting the material of this which assign on my whole map so now change their shader to world shader but there is a no texture 2d so first of all assign their text this is due to we set the difference reference of texture 2d so now there is a no bend in scene because we are not set the value of material so select the all materials and change their curve value so i'm changing the x curve value but in the problem with changing the little value we face with big band so now go back to again shader graph editor and set there to move to slider and set the minimum volume to minus 1 to 1 and similar as for curve y now minus 1 to 1 so now create another node for divider and connect with in output of vector 2 with divider so now connect the output of divider with multiplier and set the divider value to maybe 1000 for both x and y so now save the asset and go back to select all material and now change their curve this time may be good because we need little curve value 
during the making the shadow graph i set the camera position so the level bend according to the camera position so now with if we change the camera position to a forward and camera moving forward seem as camera rotating but really it's seen bending due to shader graph curve value so now create script for changing the value of curve name as scene controller and open the visual studio so first of all public float variable speed and set as 10f now transform dot translate into the direction of vector 3 dot back and multiply with speed and multiply with time dot data time this for moving the scene to backwards so now create public float bend x and set the value to 0.1f and bend y and set its value to 0.1f so now set the range using range keyword and set the range minimum minus 1f and maximum 1f and copy it and set similar range for bend y so now create public material list and name as material and now create for each var m in materials and now m dot set float and set the shader dot property to id so now we are setting the reference which we write in curve x axis and set the value to bend x then copy it and paste and change the x value to y so assign this script to main map and assign these materials so now go and test as you can see there is a no bend in the scene because we set the value of curve to zero so by increasing the x curve value the scene bend to right side and if we change the y curve value the scene is bending up and down i hope you like my video the shared link available in description you can download please share my video and subscribe my channel for more videos